product rule. You will use this when you are solving word problems down the road. Uh, you'll have this in calculus quite a bit as well. So the product rule, I have the log of base 3 of a product. I'm multiplying two things together. A rule of logs say you can separate this into two separate log statements. So if I happen to know what the log of x is separately and the log of y is separately, but I don't know what them multiplied together is, you can separate that. So the product rule says if you have the log of a product, you can separate that and each one gets its own statement. Log base 3 of x, log base 3 of y. Notice they each get base 3. Okay, so each one, you keep the base 3. And you add the two together. That's product rule. So if I have the logarithm of a product, I can separate that product and give each of those their own log statement. When you separate product rule, you add the two together. You just leave it like that? You just leave it like that. De depending on what you have. Now, if you have quantities to fill in, you would go further. Uh, but this would say expand using the product rule. So that would be the answer to an expansion. Okay, that's product rule expansion. Um, quotient rule. It's like lightning speed, isn't it? Well, they're, they're, they go hand in hand, so it's, it's good to do them both together, I say. I say, dadgummit. Log of x over y. Quotient rule, if you have the log of a division expression, what do you think you're going to do? Who's got a guess? You do the same thing, only you subtract them. Same thing. Split those two into their own statement. The numerator goes first. The denominator goes second. And then you subtract them. When it's a quotient or a division expression, you would subtract the log statements. How come I didn't write a base? <gasps> Both sides of the room. We see the corners now. Sean, that's up to you. I don't think Elton's going to take that one. Someday Elton's going to come in here and be all loud. Maybe when you cut, you do have to cut weight? No. There's no such thing. So you're the guy they hate on the bus ride because you're eating and the rest of them are cutting weight. No. Solidarity. Okay, so product rule and quotient rule, it allows you to separate into separate log statements. If it's product, you have plus. If it's quotient, you have uh, subtraction. More than oft most often, you will start off with it separated and you'll go the other way. It's not very often that you will start off with it like this and you will separate. So you've got to practice going backwards and forwards. So most often, it, you'll start off with something like, oh, that's not very helpful. You'll have something like this uh, log. Um, oh, I know. Log base 2 of 8 plus log base 2 of 8 again. Well, that's one you can figure out once you're done. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, one thing is, these two have to have the same base. If this was log base 2 and that was log base 3, you could not combine them. So they have to be the same base. But if you have the same base, you can combine these into just one statement. So this is the reverse of the product rule. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to examine what happened here, and I'm going to go the other way. So if I have the same base, I'm going to make just one log statement. What rule is this? It's the product rule in reverse. Notice that? See, it's like Jeopardy. It's like product rule Jeopardy. I'm starting with the answer, and I have to get back to what it is with just one expression. So if they are separated with addition, you 
you're going to bring them together with just their own one log statement. And again, it's called product rule because you're multiplying those two together. 8 times 8. Hello, there. So that's log base 2 of 64. So this I can s combine into one log statement by multiplying those two together. We have to reverse the other one. What? what? So we have to reverse the other one. Yes. Yes, we are. That is happening at this time. Scoot. Oh, I know. That's messy. Okay. So let's say you have log. Uh, base 2 I'm trying to make them sassy but I can't nope minus sorry it's Canadian sorry sorry I have two log statements. I don't know why I got curly twos on this one and straight twos on that one. That's weird. But they are both base two. So I have two expressions, base two. I want to use the reverse of the quotient rule. So I can combine those two into just one log expression. Obviously, you keep the base. Since it is subtraction, the first number is my numerator. The second number is my denominator. And in this case, I can reduce that into log base 2 of 16. <coughs> what is log base 2 of 16? Four. Remember, log is asking for the exponent. Log base 2 of 16 is the exponent that goes with 2 to get you 16. Log base 2 of 16 is 4. So let's see if this is actually true. Log base 2 of 32, what is that? Anybody do that in their head? So it's 2, what? It's not 8, it's too many. So you're multiplying 2 together until you get to 32. Uh -huh. So it's 5. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. Okay, so log base 2 is 5. Minus log base 2 of 2, it's just 1, and 5 minus 1 is indeed 4. It's a whole lot faster to just do that. But they do equal each other. So you've got to get familiar with using product rule and, qu wool, wool. <laughs> product rule and quotient rule.